Hi, uh, this is Hydrastus canadensis, our golden seal. We've been growing it here in, in the northwest of Ireland here for a few years now and it's doing really well. Its natural habitat would be in northern Canada in kind of broadleaf um, woodland where it gets a lot of natural shade. So here we have to simulate that environment by putting up this shade cloth and also we put down a lot of leaf mold here when the plant dies back in autumn. It's, uh, it's a wonderful herb. It's, it's uh, kind of on a vulnerable situation around the world because it's been over harvested in the wild. So it's important if you're using it to, to, get, a, um, to, to get some herbs from a very reliable source where it's properly cultivated. Um, and, and that's what we're doing here. So we, we cultivate this for herbalists and for dried um, powders and tinctures. It's an absolute um, invaluable herb for the herbalist. Um, it's got so many uses around the body for healing mucous membranes. So if you have uh, an eye infection like conjunctivitis using uh, hydrastis drops would be very effective. Um, mouth ulcers are uh, very useful. Moving into the stomach then things like um, peptic ulcers, H. pylori and lower into the digestive system then for Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. All, all the areas where there's mucous membranes. Um, hydrastis, the berberine content in hydrastis uh, is what increases your immune system and um, helps those mucous membranes to heal and to cleanse them by, by its antimicrobial action. So it's a wonderful herb, it's absolutely invaluable to use and it should be really respected. Uh, we, we'd also be very cautious about using it, we'd never overuse it like for more than three or four weeks uh, simply because it can reduce the absorption of vitamin B in your, in your body. Um, so for that reason, um, short term use, it has fantastic effects and usually you need to use it for a short term use anyway. And also, we would never give it to someone who would be pregnant for the reason that um, it, it can stimulate um, uterine contractions. So, obviously not during pregnancy, but when you're during labour, it's, it's wonderful for increasing um, uterine contractions to hurry along the birth. And also, um, post-pregnancy um, then, if, if there's any bleeding after the birth, it's a very good hemostatic. So, it's very good for using in that situation, along with um, what we grow over here is, is trillium. Um, Beth root, and that's two herbs that would be very useful um, after um, pregnancy if you're bleeding. So a wonderful herb, uh, very um, very useful and a huge necessity on, on cultivating it and, and uh, having a sustainable supply. Okay.